What do you need to record? First, let's pretend I'm sitting in a plane right now. This is the plane window. Take your camera and start recording out of the plane window. Move your camera back and close the window and open it again. Now move your camera again back to the window. At the end, your clip should be looking like this. Okay, now put the clip you've just recorded into your timeline. Start from the view out of the window, then the camera moves back, I close it, and right here when you start seeing again the outside, so right here, set a cut. And that's it. Now go to the effects tab and put the draw mask onto your clip and start adding control points right here to mask out the outside. And make sure you'll use enough control points because you're gonna need them later. Just like that. Now invert the mask. Um, increase the feather. Decrease the fall off, yeah. And now very important, add keyframes to the draw mask. And now just adjust the draw mask to the window. Okay guys, when you've done that, you should have such a kind of clip. So the view is perfectly keyed out. Now just choose a clip you want to put inside of here. I am gonna go with this one. It doesn't need to be necessarily a drone shot, but it would be helpful if the clip you want to use has some kind of movement in it. So, but first to make it look more realistic, um, we go to the first frame of the clip, also to the first frame of this clip where we first start seeing the outside. Go to the clip, go to color inspector, and now put the exposure high. Now set a keyframe, play it for half a second until the window is open, set another keyframe, and now again half a second and make the exposure back to normal. And now it looks like that. So now I'm gonna grab my desert clip. And to match now my camera moving in movement, we need to adjust the destination clip. Therefore I'm going to my desert clip and first uh, because I'm making a curvy movement to the left I'm gonna put both frames to the right side just like that make them the same size so nothing is moving. Now it's opening and right here when I'm starting the curvy movement from here I'm gonna set a cut at the clip and I'm doing it until here. Okay. Now go back to the first frame of your second clip. Go to Ken Burns, switch starting and ending frame. And now make the ending frame, just make it back to the normal size. Right click it and select the ease in and out movement. Yeah. And then in the last clip to match it, go to the crop icon and just select crop so we got our normal image back. And now if we play it, we got this. And in the end to make it even look more natural, just add to every single clip the handheld filter and just play with its settings. <laughs> Thank you for watching, hope you like it, like, subscribe, would mean a lot to me. Thanks, bye.